In this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to swim in Unity. For starters, we're using the Mini First Person Controller by VitFate. And as you can see, I've set up a little scene here with a first person controller and our water. The first thing that we're going to do is go to our water, which has a box collider, and we're going to set it to Is Trigger. And then, as you can see, I have a scripts folder here, and I'm going to go inside of it and create a new script, and I'm going to name it Water. And then we're going to go ahead and open that in Visual Studio, and we're going to place this start and update function with an on trigger enter and an on trigger exit. Be sure to double check to make sure that you don't accidentally use on trigger exit 2D or on trigger enter 2D. Okay, and then inside of that, we're going to say if other .compare tag player and other .get component first person movement is not equal to null, go inside of the if statement, say first person movement, call it movement equals other .get component first person movement. Later, we're going to change that, but for now, that'll do. Before we continue, you can see that we have some other methods on top of our first person character. You can see there's a jump method and there's a crouch method that are separate from the first person movement script. So when we're swimming, we're just going to go ahead and turn those off. All right, so now we want to access our first person movement script and we want to set it to is swimming. But as of right now, there is no such functionality. So we're going to open it up in Visual Studio and add that. But go up to the top here, and we're going to comment out the word swimming. And then beneath that, we're going to comment out the words normal movement, just to organize our code a little bit. And then beneath swimming, we're going to type out square brackets, hide an inspector. Beneath that, say public bool is swimming. And beneath that, public float swim speed. And then we're going to go down to our fixed update, and we're going to type out if swimming is not equal to true. And then we're going to cut out all existing code and then paste it into this if statement. Now we are going to create an else statement beneath this, and this is where we'll put all our swim logic. But first we need to do a few more things for if the character is not swimming. You might have noticed earlier that our first person character does have a rigid body. Now the movement script that we have on our character is reliant on that rigid body. So the first thing that we're going to do is go above our movement logic for when he's not swimming. And we're going to say if rigid body dot use gravity is not equal to true, then we're going to set it to true. And then getting into our swim logic, we're going to say if rigidbody.useGravity is equal to true or equals true, rigidbody.useGravity equals false. And then for our swim movement, we're essentially going to be chasing a hot dog dangling in front of our face. So I'll go up to the top and say public transform target. And then coming back down and going under this if statement, we're going to say if input.getAxiRaw vertical is greater than zero, then transform dot position plus equals target dot forward times swim speed times time dot delta time. Going beneath that, we're going to make another if statement. If input dot get axi raw vertical is less than zero, and instead of retyping this out, we're just going to copy and paste this line right here and switch the plus to a minus. And now that that's set up, we're going to go back into our water script and we're going to go beneath our movement setup and say movement dot is swimming equals true. Then we're going to copy and paste this whole thing into the on trigger exit function. And we're going to change this one true to a false and the two falses to a true. And then save it. Now all we got to do is go to our water and add our script. And then go to our controller and make sure its tag is set to player. Jumping into testing, you'll see that it works pretty well. Except there's one little problem. When you stop moving, uh, you keep moving. And that's because we're still using a rigid body, so its velocity is still being adjusted. So we're going to go ahead and fix that. In our first person controller, we're going to make a new function and we're going to call it reset velocity. And it's going to say rigidbody.velocity equals vector 3.0. And rigidbody.angular velocity also equals vector 3.0. Jumping back into our water script, we'll go ahead and call that function at the end of both of our if statements. All right, going back to testing, you'll see that we still have one problem. And that's that we keep swimming even though we're pretty much standing on top of the water at this point. To fix that, we're going to go into a first person controller, go under first person camera, create a new empty game object, and we're going to change its name to eye level. We're only doing this so it's at the same position as the camera. So then we'll take it out and just put it under the controller. Then we'll open up our water script again, go beneath our previous if statement in the on trigger enter, and we're going to say if other dot compare tag eye level, and then say other dot get component in parent rigid body dot use gravity equals false. Now we actually still want to be able to access the movement component of our first person controller. So instead of making it a local variable to the above if statement, we're just going to make it a global variable accessible by this whole script. We'll still set it to equals in the above if statement just so it's set up before our eye level accesses it. Go into the eye level if statement, go to the bottom and say if movement is not equal to null, then movement dot reset velocity, which also means we don't need it up here anymore. Now because we're turning off the gravity at eye level, we actually need to go back to the first person movement and delete this if statement. 
Now triggers only work with colliders, so we're going to add a small one to our eye level, say 0 0.0625. Jump again. As you can see, everything works perfectly. Now we won't be showing it in this tutorial, but the last thing that you're going to want to do is go into your eye level if statement and just turn on post processing. And then you'll copy and paste the eye level if statement into your on trigger exit function and just change it to turn off post processing. And then just delete this other stuff because you won't need it here. All right, testing this out for the last time, you'll see that it works flawlessly. You can get in and out of the water. You can go back and forth between swimming and not swimming. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section. We try to answer as many as possible, and we'll see you next time.